Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about getting started with JavaScript. Let's get started. So first off, in this video, we're going to talk about writing your first JavaScript code. Now we'll also talk about learning how to code directly in the web browser, and we'll also uh, be able to install specialized software such as Visual Studio Code where you can code inside there. Now, one of the fastest and easiest approaches is to utilize the uh, command console, okay, inside of any browser. So right now we are utilizing Google Chrome, okay, and we went to about dot, uh, colon blank, and that gives us this blank web page. Now if we right click on it, we can hit inspect, and you see that it comes up with these elements. Now I'm kind of zoomed in a lot, but if I zoom out for a second, you'll see that it has this bar here. We have a lot of extra elements. So first this element here, tells us all the HTML that is in our web browser. And then the console here is actually the JavaScript console. Now I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see things. Now, the next thing that we'll also talk about is using a text uh, editor program, again, such as Visual Studio Code. And Visual Studio Code is here, okay? And you can go to, again, if we go over to Chrome, you can do, uh, Visual Studio Code. And you can go here to their downloads page. And you can see here that it has everything. You can download it for Windows, you can download it for Linux, you can download it for Mac. Now, I would also want you guys to make sure that for those of you that are on Mac, for example, you have the Intel chipset and you have the Apple Silicon chipset. Okay, so those are the two that you would need to make sure that you use. Uh, when you do that. Now, the next uh, thing that we want to maybe go over in here is just kind of getting to know everything. So uh, we were over here, and let me close this. And so we're back to the console log here. Now we can do something relatively fun. We can do alert and do something like hello world if we want to. And notice a nice little pop-up comes up and says, hello world. We could also do something like alert, hello, Bob. And it pops up, hello, Bob. Okay, so now we are actually able to interact with the new, uh, with the console window. Now, using a text editor, on the other hand though, we would have to go over to uh, our uh, our Visual Studio Code here, and we can go to File, New File, and then here we can type in the name. So maybe we'll do something like um, uh, welcome.html. Okay, and it wants to save this, and uh, for now I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and actually let me create up a folder here and say uh, welcome folder okay and i'll put this in here and i'll create that file now it opens up and we notice here that it is welcome.html and it notices that it is an html file and we can also go through and we can create up a javascript file if we would so choose we could also in this, because this is a basic text editor as it is, we could uh, do that as well. Now, what, what we would like to do here is we can do here I HTML, and then we can do body and script, okay? Now what this does is this gives us an HTML, okay? Now this gives us the body, and we have a script here. And we can say alert, and we can say, hello from the, uh, whoops, the uh, welcome.html file. Okay, and we would save that. And if we were to go and let me uh, just go over to my home screen in this welcome folder, and I double click on here. Actually, I shouldn't double click on there. It'll open it up in a different window. But if I right click and say maybe open with 
Google Chrome. And notice it's running. Oh, and then the, and nothing else pops up here because we didn't do any other HTML. But this alert pops up and says, hello uh, from the welcome.html file, just as we put in our file. OK. So the next thing that we can kind of look at here is uh, to just kind of give you just one more look at the console window again. And we can also go back here and look at our basic uh, HTML and JavaScript text. So again, here, the script tag, each of these are tags. We have an HTML tag, a body tag, and a script tag. And inside the script tag, we can code up anything we want here. Now this is with an HTML document, okay? We will talk about in later videos how to utilize the actual JavaScript and actually link it. If you guys like this video and you want more of these, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.